George, George of the jungle, friend to you and me. <laughs> Watch out for that tree. Now when he gets in a scrape, he'll make his escape with the help of his friend, an ape named Ape. And then away he'll schlep on his elephant chef while Maggie and Ursula stay in step. I said, George, George, George of the jungle, friend to you and me. <laughs> Watch out for that tree. As the days grow shorter, nature clothes herself in the glory of changing seasons. The sounds of crunching leaves. And the smell of autumn in the air. Hmm. Huh? Huh? It can't be. Please, no! <gasps> no! My new line of fake faux fur pajamas is gonna be a hit! <laughs> They're here! <laughs> Save yourselves! Who's here? Banana Quad! <laughs> <laughs> That's a funny name. There is nothing funny about Banana Quads! Why? What are they? A fast-growing yellow fruit that appears once every three years! <laughs> <laughs> You're afraid of a... fruit? No! Afraid of what fruit does to ape! He goes crazy when he eats them! We have to hide! <laughs> <laughs> that should keep Abe out! Okay, this is ridiculous. You guys are seriously overreacting. Trust us, we're not. It started when George, Ape, and I were at the coconut game. <laughs> hey, check out my new smoothie. It's banana quad. Only comes around once every three years. Hmm, I'll take one. Give <laughs> me. <laughs> Banana Quads! <laughs> it was horrible. Hmm. Maybe we should get rid of all the Banana Quads before Ape finds them. Good idea! I'll go distract Ape! Ooh. <laughs> right there. Yeah. You seem happy. Do you have something to be happy about? I guess I just woke up in a good mood today. A good mood, you say? Hmm. Your eyes aren't bulging. Your nose isn't twitching. <laughs> and I don't see any evidence of drooling. Okay, good mood it is. Thank you for confirming that. What are you doing? Um, getting some fresh air? But fresh air doesn't smell as good as this pastel bubblegum pony spray. <laughs> you can really smell the pony. <laughs> <coughs> can't breathe <coughs> outside. You can't go outside <laughs> without pancakes. <laughs> I wonder why Abe likes these so much. We can't return with any trace of banana quads. And we we'll smell it. There. That should do it. Ugh. For the next three years. Um, George? <laughs> you shouldn't have. I think I need to walk off these pancakes. Don't go out there! Ah! I, I, I need your opinion on my faux fur pajamas for the fall season. Did you say fall season? Mm-hmm. Wait, that means if it's the year I think it is, <gasps> it's banana quad season! <laughs> <laughs> Banana Quads! Banana Quads! 
Banana quads! Banana quads! Do you hear that? Quick! He's coming! Banana quads! Oh! Hey, ape! Banana quads! Oh, look, ape. See, the thing is, uh, there are no banana quads this year. <laughs> Huh? Uh, yeah. The crops were all frozen. I'm so sorry. Hey, why the sad face? No banana quads. <laughs> hey, guys. Yo, oh. hey, ape. <laughs> Ape? <laughs> Why the sniffing face? Make sure Ape doesn't run out. Oh, are you thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> Probably not. If we can steal just one banana quad before Ape's eating them all, we can grow more. Good idea. <laughs>
go over that hedge and explain that Bananaquat season is over. And it's time for Abe to stop acting so crazy. There goes bravest guy, George. It's a man. She's a girl, George. <laughs> Ursula hasn't come back. You think Abe ate her up? Oh, George better go check. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, there are no more! <laughs> banana quads! Banana quads! Banana quads! Whoa, what's gotten into her? of the jungle. From the prickly porcupine to the latest in luxury helicopters. Huh? <laughs> what is it, Ape? Maybe Magnolia's back to school clothes? Minty Fresh. So, who are those guys? Oh, those guys are Stan and Karina. Only the most famous, perfectest movie star couple since, since Hank and Brenda broke up. I hope they're not staying for dinner. There's our little Ursula. Ooh. Ah, darling, how wonderful to see. Oh, hold on, one second, the autograph. Mm. Everybody, this is my cousin Karina and her husband Stan. <laughs> this is George Ape and Magnolia. Huh? Charmed, I'm sure. <laughs> so tell me, what brings you to our quiet little jungle? Oh, we've been meaning to come, but now we finally have a good reason. Ah, oh, visiting family didn't count? Not so much. No, we came to adopt a helpless jungle creature and give them a nice, normal home. <gasps> what better place to find someone helpless than the jungle? <laughs> So to find this, this helpless jungle person, is there something, some sort of the form we could fill out or? <laughs> oh, Montana, oh, that is so funny. Uh, it's Magnolia, but call me Montana, or South Dakota, or Alberta. <laughs> yep, lived out here my whole life. I make my own clothes. Life is hard. <laughs> Yeah, we're looking for someone wild, you know, natural. <laughs> Clumsy works too. <laughs> what an incredible life story. You poor thing, raised by illiterate, brutish apes. Checkmate. I can't believe I fell for Kasparov's gambit again. George, what would you say about coming to live with us? You don't have to decide right away. You know, play cool, sure, you know. Mm. Do you have more of this ice cream stuff in your house? We want to tell our fans we have adopted a boy from the jungle. And we don't care how he smells. No, oh, 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 I just know Stan and Karina are gonna pick George. So unfair. Yeah, but George would never want to live with them. They're so obnoxious. Perfect. But it's 
like I always say, if you can't join them, work for them. <sighs> All for George. Do you like your new roller shoes? With the ringing. With the ringing. With the ringing. Someone stop the ringing. George at the jungle's office. One moment. George, meet your new assistant, Dakota. You see, in the real world, everybody has an assistant. She'll take care of everything you need, and I'm off to do something fabulous. Bye. Hey, bye. You look great. Hmm. <laughs> Alberta! <gasps> Alberta, you are just too helpful! <laughs> splash and splash! <laughs> splash and splash! $4,000. Buy George some friends and invite them over if you would. Thank you so much. George, I'm surprised you know how to use that so well. Yeah, I've already mastered turning it on and off. What's in here? Can I go in there? That's George's virtual hang gliding room. I'm set. That's George's private basketball court. <gasps> Remote control jetpack. Cool. Mine! <gasps> George never used to care about stuff. What gives? Stan! Karina! You want to go virtual hang gliding? <laughs> oh! <sighs> Stan and Karina had to go film a movie. It's just you and me. But we were gonna do stuff! They sent this picture of themselves waving goodbye. Then George wants to play with the helicopter, now! No helicopters, no ice cream, and no video games! I'm in charge now, and I've got me a whole new set of rules! Hmm. My diagnosis is spoiled bratitis. <sighs> we were gonna do stuff. Oh, Stan. Oh, Karina. Why? Why? <laughs> I've never seen him like this. We'll get him to snap out of it. George, we're worried about you. You're addicted to all this stuff. No, I'm addicted to getting my leg all the time. Yeah, that's true. He really is. I think it's time to go home. Oh, right. I'll just take remote control to remember standby. And, and mini fridge to remember Karina. Oh, what is that? Over there! Uh. <laughs> Remote control get back. Wrong about Stan and Karina. They were not the most perfect people. They're actually 
actually kind of weird. Are you just saying you were a fool so George will say it too? Well, yeah. You were an even bigger fool than me. <laughs> George, you come back here! Well, aren't you gonna admit it? George, hang tight. We'll save you. George is finally ready to admit he acted a little goofy before. Before Stan and Karina left, they gave me this picture of them waving goodbye. I wonder what helpless creature they ended up taking with them. Okay, Snookums. If you want to come to the States with us, you just need a few shots. No. No! 